Driving cold traffic to your Spotify profile using Facebook ads is a great method to grow your following, grow the number of streams you're getting, and overall just grow your audience. But it's only the first step of many steps to continue to build that snowball effect and grow that audience over time. And one method that I like to use to help myself along is to create a lookalike audience based off of the people who have already shown interest in my music. So in this video, what we're gonna do is walk through how to find the people who have clicked through your ads to listen to your music on Spotify, use those people as a C to create a custom audience, and then use that custom audience to create a lookalike audience of similar people who are going to be more likely to click through your ads and listen to your music on Spotify. So let's get into it. What's up guys? It's Tom, welcome back to the lab and welcome back to my life. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a lookalike audience using Facebook ads, specifically a lookalike audience of people who have already clicked through your ads to listen to your music on Spotify. Okay, so we're gonna start out in Facebook's ad manager. Specifically, we're in the audience manager of the Facebook ad manager platform. So to get here, when you're in your ad manager, you're gonna to go to these little dots, the top left corner here, the nine dots, and you're gonna to go to audiences. And that's where we are right now. So to get started, what we're gonna do is make a few assumptions. We're gonna assume that you've been running ads using Facebook to drive traffic to Spotify. We're gonna assume that you've got your pixel set up correctly, that you're tracking conversion events, and that you're receiving data back from that, and that you've been doing it long enough to get enough people with this data to create a lookalike audience. We're gonna assume all of that just for the purposes of this video. So here in the audience manager, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to create audience in the top left corner. And we're gonna start by creating a custom audience. And the reason we're gonna create a custom audience is because we need this custom audience to serve as the seed audience to make a lookalike audience based off of. We're gonna to go to website under create a custom audience. And then here we're gonna make sure our pixel selected. In this case, it's my pixel, Tom Dupree the third's pixel. We're gonna to go to click all website visitors and we're gonna go down to view content because this is the metric that we're using to track our conversions. Are they triggering the view content metric on your landing page? And I like a 60 day window personally, but for this video, I'm gonna make a 90 day window only because I already have a view content 60 audience. <laughs> so I can't create a, I mean, I could create a duplicate audience, I guess, but it doesn't serve me to do any of that. So I'm gonna make a 90 day audience, but I recommend making a 60 day audience. So we're gonna set the past 90 days and then we're gonna name it something like uh, just view content, do some brackets here, view content 90. So this is gonna be an audience of people who have seen my ads, clicked the ad, gone to my landing page, clicked a button on my landing page to go to Spotify and triggered this view content metric all within the last 90 days. Within the last 90 days, anybody who has done that on any of my ads for any song will be in this pool of people. So we're gonna go ahead and click create audience. Your custom audience was created. Cha-ching! <laughs> I don't know why I did that, that was so dumb. So now what we're gonna do is we can go to create a lookalike audience, reach people similar to the audience you just created by creating a lookalike audience. So that's what we'll do. Now, we select a lookalike audience source. Here is where we're going to select the audience we just made. So we're gonna to go to other sources and we're gonna type in view content to find it. And this is the audience we just made, view content 90. So we're gonna select view content 90. Now we have to put in where we want this audience to be. You can select one or as many countries as you want to. Now the thing to know about this, the reason I said we're gonna make some assumptions at the beginning of this video is because you have to have at least 100 people in a single country to create a lookalike audience based off of your data. So if you don't have enough conversions, if you don't have enough traffic on your ads, then you either need to up your budget get more traffic, make better ads to lower your costs, or you can set your window of time to a greater amount of time so that you get more people in there. So those are three different methods that can work to increase the amount of people in your original pool, but you have to have at least 100 people in a single country 
for the lookalike audience to work. What do we want to do here? Who, who do we want to target and where? Well, here's where I like to start, especially if you're just creating a lookalike audience based off of conversion events for the first time. I like to target all the Spotify territories with the exception of India, because traffic is so incredibly cheap that it will eat up your entire budget and just suck all the traffic away from every other country and the Philippines, because I get a lot of bot traffic from the Philippines and it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you're going to get a rich audience. Sometimes you're just going to get a lot of clicks and no click through to Spotify itself. So I like to leave the Philippines out as well, but outside of those two countries, we're going to target every Spotify territory that there is. Well, where do we find those? If you Google Spotify territories, you will find this page, which lists all the countries that Spotify is available in. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to input these one by one. Unfortunately, we can't copy all of this and just paste it into your lookalike audience, which is kind of a pain. You have to manually input this data. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually input every single one of these. I'm not going to do all of them for the video. Don't worry. That would be a long video but that's what you're going to need to do to create this lookalike audience. So we'll start with just a couple. We've got what Algeria, Egypt, and Morocco. So we'll do Algeria, Egypt, Morocco. So you would go through the list and you're going to put in all of these countries one by one, which is tedious. I know, but this is what it takes. Now, once you've got all of your countries, put in. You're going to go down to the next step, which is select audience size. And we can do a number of lookalike audiences all the way up to six. And what this does is it segments out different portions of the population, but we want to get tight. We want to get nice and tight in there for the specific people who we think are really going to like our music. So we're going to select one for the number of lookalike audiences. When you have filled out all of the territories here right now, I've only got five in there, but when you fill out all the territories, when you come down to the bottom and you see estimated reach, this should be around 18 million people. In fact, after this, I'll show you another lookalike audience I have to, to verify that it is about 18 million people. Once you've verified that you've got all your territories, you've got a 1% lookalike audience, and you've got around an 18 million estimated reach, you're going to click create audience. And once your audience is created, we're going to go here to my view content 60 audience based off of my view content 60 the last 60 days of people who view content, uh, the audience that I already had, that custom audience. So if we look at this lookalike audience that I've had made for some time, you can see that the size is actually 19 million people. So it's a little off. This one has actually gone up. When I made it, it was like 18.6. And this has all of the Spotify territories in it right here, except for India and the Philippines. And once that's done, then you can use this audience in your new ad set or your new campaign. And this should give you a better cost per conversion, a lower cost per conversion compared to just targeting similar artists and then narrowing for Spotify. So what I like to do is I use this lookalike audience. I just target this lookalike audience. I leave everything open worldwide in my targeting. And then I narrow for Spotify just to ensure that that interest is still there. And a lot of the time I'll also add Apple music as well, but this lookalike audience should help you tremendously in generating better traffic for your future campaigns. Now, before I let you go from this video, I want to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. If you have enjoyed this, if you want to see more stuff like this, if you have questions after watching this video, please dig through some of my videos that are on here. There's lots of information about a lot of the things I sort of breezed over in this video, you can find it all sort of littered around on my channel. If you dig this video, like it, share it with your friends, all the stuff. And at the end here, uh, if you want to check out some previous videos from the channel, they're right here. And as always, thank you for being here and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.